American Psycho Short Moon Review. Patrick Bateman works on Wall Street. He hangs out with his, you know, utterly shallow friends. They spend a lot of money going to expensive restaurants. They do coke. They, you know, have sex with various prostitutes, friends of friends. You know, just the fact that their girlfriend probably knows doesn't even really matter. But Bateman, he realizes that it's banal. They're, it's, they're, they're spoiled. They can do what they want, when they want it, how they want it. And he's unsatisfied. He's going through the motions. And as such, he is gradually sinking deeper and deeper into increasingly violent and risky, even murderous and sexual behavior. Idle hands are the devil's playthings. The this is very much a satire. It is not supposed to be taken as a depiction of reality as much as an ironic, you know, take on these people and their lives. It's a more than a plot. It's a series of situations that are common to Bateman and his fellow vice presidents at Pierce and Pierce. All of them, there's like about half a dozen vice presidents of Pierce and Pierce. So it would appear that it's not a particularly unique or important position that that many people can, yeah. And they all look alike, act alike. There is no real, there, there's very little in the way of distinguishing qualities between them. And the, the one thing that matters to them is their status symbols. The fact that they are important because they're rich. And that, that is the end-all, be-all. There is nothing else. They are rich. They're young. They're attractive. They're successful. And that's it. That's the only thing that matters to them. And Pat, Patrick is seen going into rage just utterly losing control if he finds that someone is more successful than he is. Someone that shouldn't be more successful than he is because he is, it's him. He's supposed to be the most successful one. So it has to be that, yeah. And the, there are no deep connections between these characters. They serve up platitudes and quote reviews and commercials rather than ever actually talk about anything. And Patrick does find some depth in the pop music that he listens to, which he'll gladly lecture about. He's not, not a dialogue with this other person, just lecture them on what he has found out about this, yeah, this group, this particular song. And then he might brutally murder them immediately after. The movie twists and turns, goes back and forth between the genres of comedy, drama, horror, satire, and you never know what to expect from it until you've watched every minute of it, all 93 minutes, not counting the end credits, 97 if you do count them, you do not know what will happen at any given moment in this film. And that in part goes to show that these people could do what they wanted that yeah you know people don't even really react because they're already they're they're kind of buzzed and they're feeling good where they are and if somebody is is like you know storming out even though they know them well eh, whatever i i'm i'm really comfortable here or this isn't as impressive as a restaurant as we usually go to. Can't we get to some other place? And, you know, it's all this superficial stuff, just showing how important they are and telling others that they're more important than them. And the it, it shows a lot of different people, different types, in this environment and how they're basically just not satisfied. They're bored because they have everything. There's nowhere else to go from there. And there, you know, there's a young woman who is 
always on so much antidepressive, like, you know, Xanax has mentioned, lithium, so that she can barely tell that the world is going on around her. At one point, Patrick, you know, takes her shoulders, lifts her up from the, the dinner table at the restaurant, and she remarks, are we at the restaurant? And that's, she doesn't even realize that she was just taken from the car to the restaurant. That's, and, and nobody cares, nobody notices. It's just, there, there's no intervention, there's no, are you sure this, is, this isn't too much, or should you really be going out if you're that high and, you know, that, that out of it and just nothing. Nobody notices, nobody cares. And yeah, Patrick will suddenly say some really horrible things and there might be a short awkward silence, but ultimately things go on because everything's basically okay and that is why he is slipping into the final you know, final frontier of the, the one thing that remains that he's not allowed to do. And that is where he, he and it keeps going, growing. It keeps becoming more extreme because, yeah, I mean, is anyone going to stop me? I killed, like, so many people. I guess I'll keep going. And before you say that, well, that's ridiculous. There's no serial killers on Wall Street. Direct serial killers probably not. No, no, no. They, they, they couldn't get away with it either. But the wealthy elite, those who run businesses and do trading and such, on, on that level, an awful lot of them do have blood on their hands. And we do actually let them get away with it. Not, not all of us willingly, but at the end of the day, they walk away from the company after losing a lot of money, not going to debtor's jail, but leaving with a golden handshake. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.